everyone, it's Carol from O'Brien Custom Turning. And today I'm gonna to show you how to sort and process those orders that we did the unboxing for yesterday. Now today is a Saturday and you can see I'm not dressed in my work clothes because Saturday is our day off, but the administrative side doesn't stop. And that's a seven day a week process for me. If I don't keep up with that on a daily basis, I feel like it's uh, out of control process and I don't know where I am and what I'm doing with my orders. So I'm gonna show you today how that works. So you can see here, I have two stacks of items going. This side of the table is my Facebook and PayPal orders. And then this side is my Etsy orders. And that's because our Etsy orders, we have a 30 day turnaround on those. The reason for that is because every single blank in my Etsy shop is in stock. And you'll see when I go to pull those orders that I have all the blanks here. Compared to the Facebook PayPal orders, those aren't necessarily in stock and we have to wait for those to come in. So the turnaround time on those is a different turnaround time. I've already pulled out the blanks from those that we went through yesterday that belong to customers. And I separated my orders that I processed this morning from yesterday's orders into two stacks. Again, my Etsy orders and my Facebook orders. This bucket is where I put all of my orders that are from the prior days and weeks of people that are waiting on things to come in. And then inside the bucket are the pieces that we're waiting on things for. So like this blank belongs to one of our customers. It's a diamond cast blank that's waiting on a fountain pen kit to come in. So once the fountain pen kit comes in, I'll move it to where it goes. But I put it here in this bucket so that it doesn't get lost someplace. And then the sheets go in here that go with it so I don't lose them. So I'm gonna pull these sheets and I'm gonna move them to the top of my Facebook stack because again, there would not be any Etsy orders in here because Etsy orders never have a wait period on them. So this first order tells me that it is for my customer with this Wayne Works order. Remember when we talked about these yesterday? She has these three blanks. Now I'm gonna put them in the order they are on the sheet so that Sean gets them in the right order. And I know this order is for 10.9. So I come up here to my Facebook tray and I have to put it in for 10.9. Now, when I set these up originally, I left a space right here where they go. So I just have to find in my sheet where these go. And it goes right here after this number 20. And I need the blue and green one goes first followed by the violet, followed by the galaxy one. And then I put that sheet of paper in. And that order is done and now ready to go. Okay, my next one is for this customer. And she wants two toothbrushes made with these. She's using toothbrushes as Christmas stocking stuffers. Fabulous idea. And I'll do a showcase of those once our first ones are done. The toothbrushes each come with three heads enclosed in plastic. So we never touch those so you know they're completely safe. And then you also can order replacement heads if you need them over time. The kit itself, they're intended to be like travel size, you know, like this size toothbrush, but we're actually making them full size to use and show off more of the blank. So if you order a toothbrush and you want it to be the travel size, make sure that you let me know that. Now the toothbrushes, I do not have any more in stock. I just ordered those yesterday. So this order sheet is gonna get flipped upside down and I'm gonna put an X on both of these blanks to let me know these blanks are here and they both go with her name on them in this bucket to wait until they get here. Okay, my next one is coming from Rapture Resins. So I find the one with her name on it and it is from October the 13th. So I am back again to my stack here, finding my October 13th pile. And October 13th is gonna go right before the mother of pearl with yellow. So this is why, remember, we always tell you that orders are completed based on the day they're paid for. That's how we do that. Even though I have these all set for the blanks that are in already, they're still based on date order, and I just slide things around to keep them inside. Now, this tray, I'm gonna back up for just a minute. 
This tray, since I got those orders in, it is actually complete and ready to go. And it is all the orders through October the 11th. And the reason it's complete is because this chunk here is October the 12th, and there's just too many to put on that tray. So my signal to Sean to let him know that tray is done is I move the next one on top of it. So now he knows that everything below that is done and ready to go. And forgive me stepping on the screen a minute, but I'll keep talking to you. I'm just grabbing another one of our little orange trays. We have probably about 50 sitting over there in the wings waiting to be put in place. I'm going to still keep working on that tray because it's not completely full yet. I'm going to slide all of these blanks. Four. There we are to the 13th. Okay. Now for this order, I need a dark lotus and a pink, green, and black on October the 13th. It's going to go right in there. Then this order starts the 14th, but I still have a couple more on the 13th that have been waiting. Now, this particular blank, it's one of these green transparent liquids. My order sheet tells me she wants my tip, her tip rounded. So Sean needs to know when he does the drilling, he doesn't want to drill both ends because if he drills a hole in the end, that messes up the drilling or the rounding. So I put a rubber band around this blank. And that's just a cue to him and tells him, stop and look at the order sheet. There's something special about this blank and don't treat it like you would all of the other ones. Okay, my next one is also from this Rapture Resins blank uh, batch. I need a showboat which is here in my files down here. I've got 96 of these little drawers where everything is all sorted and divided. And it used to be I could put my fingers on things a little bit faster, but Caitlin and I just did inventory yesterday and set everything up with a new system. So this is the showboat. And then she gets a forest fire, a castaway, and a bourbon street. This one's really cool. It's the new Jewel Street Glitter Series. And they have, let me start over, Bourbon Street Jewel Glitter Series. And see how it's got the nice, big, big glitter chunks in it? So that should be really pretty when those are polished up. Now, this one also looks like this tray might be getting pretty close to being completed. Okay, now I am too. 1014, which is the next day on my tray. So I'm going to slide 1014 down. This one's 1014. Okay, a cocoon order for a blue for this customer. Her blue, aqua, and pink one. Just this one. Blue, aqua, and pink. 1014, an orange lotus. This one. 1014, a light lotus colored. That's a purple and pink and lavender and white in it. Then I go to 1016. My date on this one is 1017, so I still have a little room in my hole. And that is coming from Don Van Dyne, and they are not here yet. So that tells me I'm going to have to split a hole. So I need to count how many I have. And between that and the 17th, I'm going to have one, two, three more blanks to fit in. And my space only will hold one more. So what that does is it moves all of these blanks to the next tray. And then these sheets get clipped together to go on this tray. And we're now working on this tray. So this one is going to start a new tray because I keep my special projects. Remember this one was a toothbrush. It goes in a separate pile. This one is diamond pens. This one is also from a vendor that I don't have the order yet. This one's waiting. Now this one is for a customer that she wants three mystery blanks. 
and she gave me some hints. So I'm going to go up here to my mystery boxes, and I'm going to randomly pick her three. She likes teals, blues, and greens. So let me just pick three out of this box, and then we'll look and see how I did. She said no gold, yellows, or oranges. So let's see. She likes teal, blue, and green. Likes glitter. I think that one will work. It's got some blue in it. And this one has got, it's a um, hybrid blank. And then this one's got the glitter in it. So I think all three of those will work fabulously for her mystery blanks. Now remember, we do a special and mystery blanks since you don't pick your colors, those are always discounted to you to $25 each instead of the normal 30 because you're not picking those. Okay, and these are all waiting. Now this one is a paid off layaway. So I go over to my layaway side and have to pull my layaway box. I have to look at my order number all of my blanks, I write the order numbers when they're in layaway on top of them so that I know to whom they belong. And she has these two are hers. And you can see the numbers are written on the top. So that's how I know these two are both hers. Okay, now that finishes it for all of the outstanding Facebook orders. And notice I still have blanks on my table. So what that means then is that these other blanks are in layaway. So I'll set them aside for now and later on I'll bring out all my layaway orders and I will put the stickers on the bottom showing to whom those belong and I'll let you tag along with me when I do that next time. This one I need a paper clip. That's what's on this stack. Okay, so then the last part of this is finishing setting up the Etsy orders then for the last couple days. So this customer, I need a crown of light angel wings. That's this one. This one's routinely in our Etsy store. Again, all of these are. These are Etsy shops. So you can find these in our Etsy store anytime. Then I have a customer. She wants two mystery woods and she said to make them both differently. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to pick two drastically different woods for her to the sense of I'm going to pick her a cocobolo, which is a dark wood, and then a blood wood, which is a red wood. So those are completely different woods compared to I wouldn't want to pick two light woods or even two olive woods. That's our favorite wood to turn. We love that one. The grain patterns are beautiful, but I'm going to always pick two very different when they go to the same customer. Okay, our next one is an Omega Aurora Glitter, also from Dan at Rapture Resins. That one is also down here in this stack. It's hiding from me because Kate and I just recently moved it. So I may have to hunt for that one after we're finished here. Let me go on to the next one. Oh, Color Green Golden Sunset. I just took that one inside. It's a yellowish color. The color grains are laminated wood and it's got layers of wood. I took those inside because I'm gonna do a showcase on the color grains. Gold, silver, and copper leaf. That comes from Wine Country Woodworks. Gold, copper, and silver leaf. Sometimes it's easiest just to pull the whole bucket out. And if it is not in this bucket, then it's in my other long country bucket. There it is. to a fault to keep track of everything we do. This is gold leaf, silver leaf, and copper leaf. 
with grapevine. Then I need a Thermal Mutations Black to Teal. This comes from Rapture Resins. This is a limited edition, so don't wait too long to get one of these. I only have five left. The Thermal Mutations is a color change. And as you hold this and it heats up to your body temperature, it's going to change from black to a teal color. I also need a Celestial Blossoms Glow in the Dark. This is another one that we just moved. It used to live on that side of the table. So now, finding it on this side of the table, it's like, yes, I know it is on this side. So it's really pretty. It's got lots of glitter in it. Pink and purple and blue and green. Keep in mind with the glow in the dark, when you get one of those, it may not glow initially when you take it out of the box. You might have to charge it by putting it in the sun because our workshop is very dark and it's been sitting in the dark workshop for some time along with it was in the dark when the vendor sent it to us. So it may have to charge for some time before it starts to show off the glow in the dark. Now I am looking for an Ecto Blue from Mackenzie. Ecto Blue came last month in our subscription box. That is this one. Now a Mackenzie blank is a six inch blank and they have little bitty diamond flex in them. So one of the things I'll do as soon as I'm done talking to you is take it over to my chop saw and cut off this top little part because it's six inches long and that's a little bit unwieldy for a diamond painting pen. So if that's a special request that you want me to leave it long, that's something that you let me know in your comments. And then my last two are two more from Wine Country. We had lots of great vines today. We need a blue and a white which is this one, blue and white with the grapevine. These are treated as considered a hybrid pen. So it gets treated like both acrylic and wood. So it'll have a CA finish on it when it's finished. And then a forest green. Oh, it doesn't want to come out. There we go. This one is the forest green grapevine also from Wine Country Woodworks. And then I'll have those two more that I need to add, the one by going inside, and then the other I'll just have to hunt through the boxes to figure out where we hit it when we organized all of our stacks. Well, that is it for sorting out the planks today. Hope that you enjoyed seeing all of them. I don't know how often I'll do this with you, but at least once every couple of weeks, I'll share with you and show you the different blanks we're doing and let you see the process. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.